How y'all doing? Oh, good. Can't complain. Anybody want to start us off? How have you seen the offensive line? Yeah, definitely. I think. Um, I think really uh, one thing I've noticed is watching from film and games last year from the you know the two tackles obviously both being rookies last year and then the development and the the progress they've made over over what you see from game film last year to what you can see during training camp this year I think they've taken huge steps and then I'm just trying to continue the continuity of the group you know we've got to be a group that's together and you know that starts with me with my communication making sure we're all on the right page and that's what I'm doing so I think it's gone well. You know, leading that position, is that part of what you got to do? Yeah, I think, um, I'll talk on that last point. I think on, you know, getting to know everyone as an individual, it starts really outside the building, you know. Obviously, we're here every day doing all that stuff, but you really, on the offensive line, start to kind of form those bonds off the field and spending time with each other, really learning about each other, and that's when you really build that trust and get to know how everyone, you know, what's going on in their lives and once you have that trust you know you're just going to play better as a group how did you end up kind of deciding to sign with seattle anyway i guess kind of looking back on that now mm -hmm. yeah i think it was a uh, was good conversations with uh with my agent and just uh, a position that he and i both felt that i had an opportunity to compete for you know a certain job at center where i feel i'm most comfortable um I would say it's a combination between making sure all five of us are on the same page, and that also extends to the tight ends in the run game, and then obviously making sure we're targeted right on every play. So that would be the two things when it comes to me for the most important so most important things in my job when it comes to communication. Why do you think you're most comfortable at the center position? Uh, I think it's just a, a more natural position for me. It's something that I've played more. I've taken countless more reps you know I, I if I were to advertise myself I would say I'm a center who can play guard and it's just just feels feels natural to me feels feels comfortable in there what's it been like coming in where you know all the guys you mentioned it's four guys who all played together last mm -hmm. year and started all again and you're the guy you're the new one and yep. you're the one doing all the and all that just what's that dynamic yeah I think um kind of any team that you're on the center is that guy so you know I've I've had that experience already and you know just bringing in you know what I see and what I know to the team and and you know being loud trying to be that that leader among the the five linemen and that's what I've tried to do what does it mean to you at this point to go into the start of the season as a starting center after after the years you've had the training yeah I don't really I don't think I look at it as any different you know I still go out on the field each day and and just trying to do you know it's a a statement that you hear all the time, but I, th I feel like it's true is trying to get 1% better each day. And, you know, as long as you're, you know, improving something in your individual game, you're making the team better each rep and, you know, thus making everything, you know, the offense better, the team better, everything. So that's that's my focus when I go into each day and stuff. When you're standing over the ball, mm -hmm. just the process, how much time do you really have to that uh, it, it can vary between, you know, how our, our cadences are going and, and stuff like that, but you know, it can be anywhere from a second to about four or five seconds, depending on a lot of variables. So it's it's pretty quick to try and identify, you know, what they're doing on defense and what their rotations look like and what their personnel is, stuff like that. So it's pretty pretty quick process for sure. Your first season working with Gino, just what made impression? Oh, hell of a guy. I mean he's you know, football IQ, he's seen a lot of ball in his day and, you know, a lot of different defenses, you know, sees the whole picture very well and does a great job communicating with us, you know, mid before play snaps on, you know, any checks and changes he needs to do. And then just off the field, I mean, uh, leader second to none. I mean, his, his leadership abilities have really, from what I've heard, really grown and he's taken on that true role and he's been fantastic. What is maybe the Cliff Coates version of your race car career? <laughs> uh, let's see. I started racing when I was about four or five years old. Raced uh, go karts into uh, kid karts, a uh, whole bunch of different series, open wheel stuff, and then went to closed wheeled where I raced Bandoleros and Legends cars up until I was like 14 or 15. That's when I called it. I uh, outgrew the sport a little bit. You know, it's a it's a small person sport for sure. I wasn't quite a small person, so. <laughs> Kind of bad crash. Like I've had a couple, but yeah, I had I had one where I was second didn't really want to lose, so I just threw it into the last corner a little too hard and went wheel to wheel and flipped over and 
didn't flip my engine off and caught on fire. So that was a good experience. My parents weren't too thrilled, to say the least. So, <laughs> but yeah, that was a fun thing that, you know, me and my dad did as a uh, uh, hobby, per se, growing up. Do you now drive that way on the freeway? I do not, no. No, I, I like to think I'm a safe driver. <laughs> what have uh, teammates or coaches, if anything, said about watching that Week 18 Packers-Lions game? Uh, they they definitely uh, you know poke a little fun at you know thanking uh, thanking me specifically for for our, our role and helping the the team get to the playoffs there. Um, but that's really really been about it, you know. So, <laughs> anything else? All right, appreciate y'all.